Hello everybody, welcome back to the long-awaited tutorial of how to mod Postal 2, and yeah, let's get right into it. So, where we left off is that, you know, we gotta make static attachments, right? It's so... What you wanna do is... Launch MS3D, now, this, this part, you're gonna have to make sure you have the .ase extension, because that's what post... Well, two takes for its static meshes, and and you're gonna have to install that yourself. I will make a video sometime. I may make a video. No, I'm sorry. I may make a video sometime on the, as to how to install various things, and uh, yeah. But what you want? But because I you lost the fucking model. <laughs> I lost the fucking model to it and yeah we're just gonna have to use our model I'm just gonna have to use this model for now I wouldn't recommend using it because it might break some stuff but hey I mean, there's only... I'm only human, bro. Well, what the fuck? Scale that up, because you see... I mean, we need to scale it up for a reason. Alright, so now that you got your model set up here... And you gotta make sure it's in this position. You gotta make sure it's in this exact position. Alright? Otherwise it's gonna look weird. It's gonna look really bad. And yeah. Or you know, you can just be sloppy with it. I don't fucking care. You wanna be a fucking goddamn perfectionist? Go ahead. Mac. Stat. And there we go, we got our max stat one. Oh, and also, please ignore the fact that, you know, my desktop is a mess. <laughs> I'm a very busy person, as you can tell. Launcher posted, and here's where I'm going to show you how, how, to make stat how to make the static mesh first, first and foremost. So get your max stat one. Remove the group and max set. And we got it in. Wow. Looks goddamn beautiful. Now we just gotta find our textures where where did I put them? There it is. There they are. Now, because I had to use on the skeleton, you're not going to get a second material, but you get the point. Save that. Now, you're supposed to make two of them, where one is lying on the ground, and the other is for when, the, is for when you're in third person, or you can see the player's gun on his hand in the mirror. For tutorial's sake, for simplicity's sake, we're just going to go with one on model, and... I mean, it's not like I care. Not that much. If you want to go ahead and put in the extra effort, go right ahead, bro. I really don't care. Yeah, but yeah, for, for tutorial's sake, we're going to be the, uh, just having it standing up. Might look a bit awkward, but trust me on the process. And make sure you save everything. You get them a static mesh session. You see, it's all good. Max that one.
Oh yeah, this tool is very important. I'm going to be making a not yet another I'm going to be making yet another pack that you need to download. Hold it, and this is going to be the part 2 shit that you need. And of course, it's going to be in a Google Drive cuz I have no other way of sending it and yeah. And if this goes well, it should be me working fine and dandy. Oh, and by the way, I if 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 it's like one, it's like two a.m. bro, and yeah. Uh, if I really feel like it, I can do sounds. I can show you how to do sounds too. Sorry, I'm just stuttering a lot because I'm a bit, I'm a bit nervous, admittedly, and yeah. So if I repeat some shit, don't mind me. I'm just fucking. I'm just fucking me, bro. You know, I am me, and nobody can change that. So anyways, add the Mac pickup, and... Holy hell, that's a large-ass pistol. And you see, that's why you should have it lying down. I recommend... Do not have it standing up. I'm only doing this for tutorial purposes. But then again, you can do whatever you want, so... <laughs> yeah. Again, I repeated myself. Holy fucking shit. Yeah, it's fucking huge. Oh my fucking god. Oh my fucking god. It's so fucking huge. Bro, I should have made it smaller, bro. I know for Alright again. I am not gonna go through the effort of scaling it because you see, you're gonna have to manually shift it over the size over and over again. That means take the mod original model, resizing it, get an MS3D, export it, it and then and port ex and then import it to fucking post it again. And you have to keep doing this again, 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 again until well, it fucking works. But do I give a shit about this? I mean, it's gonna be hidden, so... You can't get it. Oh yeah, and sound? Oh, pistol sounds? I'll show you in a minute how... How to set it up, or... Not really how to set it up, it's just... The very basics of setting it up and shit. Fucking hell. Well, I'm so goddamn stupid. <laughs> you know, I keep contradicting myself. I'm, I'm very sorry, but it's just force of habit. Okay, so you just go into Mac Weapon that you see, and here's where you can change the weapon firing sound. Now, and you can set it to whatever you want, and make sure this is where the file would be. And this would be what's inside the file. Oh, so let's say, for example, you want to add fucking bird sound effects, I don't know. Go to it, then go ahead, but... Making custom sounds is just as easy as, you know, importing textures, if you can remember. I mean, oh, fuck it, I'm just gonna... Because I know y'all are gonna fuck it up in some way, and then... And it'll probably go to me asking about it, so... I'm just gonna fucking show you. Know how to do it. Oh shit, I'm okay, I'm sorry if that came off kind of rude, but here's how you make custom sounds. Just import. Let's use this for example. Test and, and there you go, that's simply how you do it. And you copy name. This is if you want to add sounds in the first place. Oh yeah, don't do what I just did. Which is not save the damn thing. Don't forget, you got always save. That's the most important thing. There you go. That's how you add sound. For this sake, we're not adding it. And uh, a texture, I'm pretty sure you knew, know last time as to how to add textures and shit. But, okay, so... 
here's where you're gonna you know, replace its icon texture and for and again for oh fucking hell I know I'm very lazy as shit but here it is as you can replace it again whatever you want make sure it's a texture though otherwise it's gonna crash the game or some shit <laughs> All right, now we're going to go to the final step. That is... Making... Uploading your workshop item. Testing. Oh yeah, you can call this whatever you want, but... I'm just going to call it testing. Mac. Mac weapon. Test. Test. Save. And here we go again. But rename this to testing and oh shit, I actually put a dot in there. Mac dot testing. Oh shit. Mac. This is for some this is for organization's sake. Anyways. Nope. Shit. Almost forgot again. Yeah, as you could tell I've gotten very rough up since my last tutorial and yeah. So once you got it. Okay, if everything goes well, there should be an icon, there should be some testing. Alright, here's where, oh yeah, I can't show that, that's a personal little project I'm working on. See, there it is, our test. And if everything goes right, we should get it. Don't put you on a damn list. I can tell this is going to be an interesting day. And there you go, you got your match in the game. Now all you need to do is... Publish it, yeah. So you go to Tools, Upload to Steam Workshop now. Make sure you select all files, and I mean all files that relate to macro, to, to your mod. This includes sounds, texture files, and everything. Leave nothing behind. In Test, 
S. Uh, you can put whatever you want, but you have to select an image for whatever reason. So we're just going to use logo six and put whatever you tags you want and upload it. And if all goes well, you just created your fucking first add-on. Congratulations. So yeah, that's going to conclude this tutorial. It's very quick, and I highly doubt it's going to be edited at all, so yeah. I'm sorry about that, but anyways, see you all next time as I teach you how... As I possibly might teach you how to make a baton or a melee weapon and fuck. And maybe in the future I'll make a mutator mod. So anyways, see ya.